Welcome, distinguished guests, members of the university's senior management committee, faculty representatives, and graduates to the Northwest University's online virtual graduation ceremony for 31 August 2021. We are honored to be here to commemorate this special moment with you and your loved ones. We understand that no virtual ceremony can ever replace an actual ceremony on your campus together with your fellow graduates as well as photo sessions. And exactly for this reason, we will do our best, if circumstances allow, to ensure that graduates be invited to a later event where we will be able to physically celebrate your milestone. As you enjoy this ceremony with us, we ask you to please share the journey you have taken to reach this big milestone, including the highlights along the way. In order to ensure that you have some experience of being on campus celebrating this big achievement, a special campaign was launched on the university's social media platforms, allowing you to virtually capture a moment in front of special landmarks across our campuses. Please follow us on our social media pages to ensure that you do not miss out on this opportunity. Please enjoy the event with us and celebrate it together with our graduates who realized their dreams. Remember, it all starts here. in me, I hereby constitute this meeting as a lawful congregation of the Northwest University. Krachtens die Befugheit an mij verleen, stel ik hier die vergadering saam als een wettige congregatie van die Northwest Universiteit.
members of the university management committee, members of the different faculties, graduates, and your family and friends, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your graduation. Today is a very special day. It is a day that your degree is formally awarded. And while we may not be able to celebrate with you in person, this moment should not pass without taking time to celebrate your success. Although our country is currently under adjusted lockdown level three, which allows for some limited events and activities to take place, we need to ensure that all possible measures remain in place to safeguard the health and safety of all our stakeholders. Therefore, events and other activities, including graduation photo sessions on our campuses, are unfortunately still prohibited. We understand that no virtual ceremony can ever uh, replace an actual graduation ceremony. We will consider allowing graduates to participate in person during the graduation celebrations that may take place when the situation allows. Graduates will be informed and of course invited accordingly. In the meantime though, we have requested the faculties to explore options where graduates can be involved in more personalized virtual events in which graduates can participate. These may and will, however, not take on a form of a formal graduation ceremony. The Northwest University is a place where students can achieve academic excellence and at the same time unleash their imaginations, visualize their aspirations, and incubate future success. Campus life is geared to holistic growth and development, and students are encouraged to participate in a wide range of cultural, sports, counseling, and well-being activities. The Northwest University offers more than just an education. We offer people a place in the world. Academically, students benefit from great choice and flexibility, enabling them to fulfill their potential and start preparing for their careers. The spirit of the university comes alive when we unlock the future for people and enable them to make their dreams come true. And it is this spirit which runs through everything we do, from our academic offerings and research to our student body, community engagement, and sporting achievements. For what you have achieved by completing your studies during a global pandemic is truly inspiring. I hope that your time at Northwest University has been productive and fulfilling and that you will look back at it with great affection. Today marks the culmination of years of hard work and commitment behind your studies. I am aware that many of you have experienced very difficult circumstances in terms of health, financial hardship. Some of you have coped with significant additional responsibilities. All of you have faced social isolation and uncertainty, but you have persevered and we are so proud of all that you have achieved. I hope you are watching this ceremony surrounded by your loved ones. Graduation is equally rewarding for those who have supported you throughout the time of your study. Therefore, today is a special day to thank them for making it possible for you to succeed. You can, with all honesty, know that a qualification from the Northwest University carries international weight. 
You see, the latest rankings by the Times Higher Education World Rankings and the 2021 Best Global University Rankings again, these together, like previous rankings, have recognized the good standing of Northwest among the best tertiary education institutions. As indicated, this is not only locally, but also internationally measured in global rankings. The Northwest University, you see, has excelled among South African universities in various subject areas as well. It was third overall locally in engineering, psychology and physical sciences, fourth in clinical and health sciences, and sixth with law and life sciences. The Northwest University was seventh with both business and economics and education and eighth in arts, humanities and the social sciences. The Northwest University was also one of only 13 South African universities to be included in the seventh annual U.S. News and World Reports Best Global Universities Rankings for 2021. Therefore, the NWU was ranked among the top seven universities in South Africa and named number 564 on the list of the best universities globally. Even though ranking is not the goal the university wants to, to pursue, it remains a cause for celebration when the Northwest University is ranked among the best in the world. A special word of congratulations to all those who receive their degrees with distinction and those who are receiving masters and doctoral degrees today. I'm informed that we have as many as 59 doctoral graduates and 129 who will graduate with master's degrees. I also want to give my warmest thanks to the entire staff of the university for the outstanding work they have done and for their positive attitude towards the development of our students during these hard times. In fact, the development of the whole university. I want to encourage students to register and receive their vaccination during COVID-19. This has been a challenging time, but we want all staff and students to respond to the call to vaccinate, especially now that the process to accommodate those who are 18 years and older will commence soon. I myself have taken the vaccination because I've realized my responsibility to protect not only myself, but those around me, as well as the bigger Northwest University community. For if we all stand together, we can make a difference. And always remember, the Northwest University cares. So graduates, I hope that we as a university community have instilled in you the appreciation of diversity and the resilience you will need to succeed in a changing, a rapidly changing and very uncertain world. My wish is that you will go out there and use your expertise to imagine new possibilities, to make a worthwhile difference and to make yourself proud, make your family proud, and make the Northwest University proud. Make South Africa proud. Please stay in touch with us and play an active role in shaping the future of our university and also our future student community. We are very much looking forward to seeing you in person at one of our future celebrations or convocation events. In the meantime, for today, I offer you my warmest congratulations and wish you all the success 
for your future. After all, it all starts here. By the power vested in me, I hereby confer diplomas and degrees on the candidates whose names appear in the program for the August ceremonies of the Faculty of Humanities. Dear graduates, a graduation ceremony has so many powerful connotations. Graduates bid farewell to intimidating examinations, taxing projects and assignments. But your graduation ceremony also marks the beginning of your career with endless and exciting new opportunities. People tend to think that the field of humanities and STEM fields are totally different fields. However, a STEM without that beautiful flower is nothing but a STEM. Science might focus on how to fix problems, but humanities focus on why these problems need to be, to be fixed. And you cannot have how without the why. In other words, your humanities degree gives you the edge, especially in today's world of artificial intelligence and the fourth industrial revolution, where critical thinking skills are highly sought after. We live in an extremely complicated world and you have had to endure the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. But I believe we have equipped you with the necessary tools to explore and illuminate these challenges and the skills to create innovative solutions to them. These skills will undoubtedly make you uh, the preferred choice in the work environment. Today we celebrate our beautiful indigenous garden and I'm proud of each graduate we have produced. I'm excited to see what great and positive change you will make to the workforce, to the environment, the community, to South Africa and the world at large. Be part of the future Inspire positive change. Bloom, it's your time. Thank you. Moses Uforme Asak. Social media use for audience engagement in radio broadcasting. A study of selected stations in Nigeria and South Africa. Chilombo Banda. Patterns of news consumption among female students at NWU South Africa. Elliot Rufin Krozat. The problem of goodness for the problem of evil. The interactability and inscrutability of the probabilistic argument. Purity Hamunakwedi. Towards a framework to achieve sustainability in non-profit organizations, empowering youths and providing child social care services in Johannesburg, South Africa. Colette Lutz. Story Worlds in The Household by The Black Heart Gang. Sheila Ngo Manka. Food consumption patterns of selected communities in South Africa and Cameroon. Maria Mushatoni. Assumptions motivating a framework to enhance intercultural communication 
within a diverse organisation. The case of Twanes University of Technology. Melindy Pretorius. Meaning making stories that six choral conductors tell about arranging contemporary choral works. By the power vested in me, I dissolve this congregation of the Northwest University. Krachtens die bevoegheid aan mij verleen, ontbied ik hier die congregatie van de Northwest Universiteit.